Welcome back. Police in the capital seeking the public's assistance in locating two male suspects responsible for a recent armed robbery. Reportedly sometime around 3.42 a.m. on Saturday, the victim, a female, was parked in the front of a business establishment just off Charles W. Saunders Highway when she was approached by two males on a white trail motorbike. One of the culprits then produced a firearm and instructed the victim to exit her blue 2006 Kia Optima, which she complied. He then sped off, traveling east in the stolen vehicle, closely followed by the second suspect on the trail motorbike. Investigations continue into this matter, with police once again appealing to members of the public who may have any information regarding this incident or any other criminal matter to contact the police at 919 911 or 328-TIPS, that's 328-8477. Meantime, police on Friday arrested a 62-year-old and a 32-year-old male for alleged possession of an unlicensed firearm and ammunition. Sometime around 6.30 p.m. on Friday, officers attached to the South Central Division executed a search warrant on a residence in the area of John Chipman Road, which led to the discovery of a high-powered weapon and a significant quantity of ammunition. The two males were subsequently taken into police custody. One parliamentarian joining the corral of voices chiming in on whether the Bahamas should remain a part of the British monarchy or not. The discussion was reignited again in March of 2022 when the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, now the Prince and Princess of Wales, visited the Bahamas on a royal tour of the Caribbean that marked the late Queen Elizabeth II Platinum Jubilee. It has been reported that Commonwealth countries in the Caribbean are increasingly questioning the purpose of the British monarchy in the Caribbean, especially since they have received little support, particularly during the pandemic. Sharing her views is Education Minister Glennis Hannah Martin. The, 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 the story of the Bahamas is a, a journey. And um, we went from col colony, self-rule, independence. And I believe the natural next step, and you see it happening in the region, it's happening in it happened in Barbados, Jamaica saying us too, um, Guyana, etc. etc. So I think it's it's a it's a logical next step, and it's one that I will I will support when that day comes. Just after returning from London, attending the coronation of King Charles III, Foreign Affairs and Public Service Minister Fred Mitchell said he believes the Bahamas should strongly consider replacing King Charles or the British monarchy as head of state and instead put a Bahamian as head of state, one who is selected by the Bahamian people or elected by members of parliament. Celebrating their win at the 2023 Government Secondary School Sports Association TSSSA Track and Field Championships, the CH Reeve Raptors held their special Green Day Assembly to highlight and honor the students and coaches who brought home the championship title. This past Friday, Principal Dr. Sterling McPhee kicked off the celebration and showed the greatest of pride for this victory. Well, we've gathered here today to take time out of our schedule to celebrate sports excellence to our minister, if there was a Hall of Fame in the Ministry of Education's building concerning sports, C.H. Reeves would be the school that would be painted all over that Hall of Fame. <laughs> Simply because we here at C.H. Reeves over the years, I heard 20 plus years, and about three years ago, I was on the receiving end of that sport excellence. So I know what it is to go down GSSA and hold my hand down in shame because the Raptors once again carry the championship. The Raptors have a rich history in taking home the gold medals over the years. So to share the festivities was Minister of Youth Sports and Culture, Mario Boleg. C.H. Reeves is a school with a long history of producing those who care about the environment and excel in all areas. I congratulate you, the Raptors, for being the GSSA track and field junior champions for 2023. Congratulations. But yet I say to you, it is not just your accomplishments in track and field alone that make you great. You are an athletic school with many great national coaches contributing to your excellence. 
The CH Reef Raptors destroyed the competition in convincing fashion to win the 2023 GSSSA Track and Field Championships. The Raptors say they are looking forward to taking home the championship title again next year. And finally, the Bahamas men's national beach soccer team narrowly missed qualifying for the Beach Soccer World Cup set for November in Dubai. The Bahamian men lost a thrilling but heartbreaking match to Mexico 3-2 on Saturday after Mexico scored a winning goal in the final minute of regulation. Mexico is the third-ranked team in CONCACAF. The Bahamian men then fell to El Salvador on Sunday 3-2 and finished fourth overall in the tournament. Bahamian fans came out in droves to support the team, which was led by Alexander. Andre Suarez on the field. Uh, the team was led by Leslie St. Fleur, Jolmis Wood, James Thompson, and Michael Butler, among the other players. Despite the disappointment, the Bahamas made history, becoming the first English speaking Caribbean nation to make the semifinals in the history of this tournament. They upset defending champion Panama 4 2 on Friday to set up Saturday's matchup with Mexico. The United States, they won the tournament overall with a 5 0 victory over Mexico in the final on Sunday night. And that'll do it for your JCN Evening News. Once again, I'm Jorino Saunders. Thank you so much for joining us. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.